That's like a, that's a, a Freddy Krueger fruit, I think. <laughs> Freddy Krueger fruit? Freddy Krueger fruit. Freddy, Freddy Krueger fruit still works in Vegas. Say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Freddy Krueger fruit. Um, all right, well, uh, that worked out. I, think I, hear you do a gra I hear you do a great Clinton, by the way. A great what, Clinton? Yeah. Oh, no, you did a great Clinton in that thing. No, no my Clinton. Heard you do. No, I do Italian Clinton. Look at this here. What's the coming to go? <laughs> Well, I can do that, too. Oh, Mi piatti il servizio in camera. Oh, nice! <laughs> okay, with the fake horse and eyeshadow, that's what Americans want. Some Americans. The creepy ones. You. My next guest is... Ellie Cantor, everybody! the people back there. But Who, Dennis Quaid? Yes, Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, but this he was like, let me get Dennis that. <laughs> Put everything just in order and poof. No, that's because of what they transformed. When I came in, I didn't No, look yeah, I think you look fantastic. Oh, that's nice. No, you're well, really, thank you. really you're, good. You're, so you, you, look, you always look good. You look very youthful. Why, 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 why are we making this about me? I this don't is know. not about I don't me. Know. Why do you, you have a problem with me complimenting you? It's making you a little uncomfortable. I should just I accept it. I should just accept it. You, thank you. Thank you, you. You, look, you look great. I got married. Maybe that's why. Well, that clearly the regular sex agrees with you. <laughs> Yes, the regular sex sanctioned by society and the church of your choice, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 and, and uh, church, uh, church choice. It gives you that warm feeling of you're not breaking the law and you're still having fun. <laughs> I love this new studio, by the way. Did you like it? Yeah? I, like, love it. It's, 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 I, I, it's, 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 it's spacious, it's gorgeous. You got a lovely, lovely view. We didn't lose a view at all. No, uh, we were still intact. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, we got the rhino head. Uh, yeah. it's, 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 I mean, the picture, the lovely pictures, Betty White, uh, oh Old Tom, the rest of Justin Bieber, uh, Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Pat, Pat Sajak. Yeah, do you know Pat Sajak? This was his studio. I know it was. This was his, he had his very famous late night show from this studio. <laughs> I, first of all, I mean, I am, um, look, I, I don't know Pat, Pat Sajak personally yet. Yeah, you probably will. I probably will. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a huge fan of Wheel of Fortune, among other things. So anyway, it's you mean among like other things like what, like chocolate? Chocolate, yeah, yeah. yeah and right. um, um, sanctioned uh, <laughs> sex. With yeah. your, uh, I'm a huge fan of, of church sanctioned sex. Church sanctioned sex <laughs> and chocolate. Do you ever combine? Wow, yeah. Straight yeah. to the heart. Yeah. Straight to the heart. Straight to the heart. So, but are you enjoying this new? Yes, I like it a lot. Yeah, I think it's haunted though. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, after having said I'm like, a, you know, well, I'm Catholic, whatever, but let's talk about, like, you are, do you believe in spirits? Well, it, 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 <laughs> some, something horrible happened here uh, uh, some time ago, and I'm not just talking about Patsy Jack's late night show. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it seems to be possessed with the evil spirit of corporate America. You do look great, though. You look fantastic. Oh, How have you yeah. been? How was the... Uh, I'm fine. Yeah? yeah? No, I'm not. Yeah, um, uh, we, we got married in New York in... We didn't. Did we? Uh, <laughs> no. 
Sadly awkward because <laughs> I'm already married and I'm not Catholic. So there's two, you know. Those are two instant like yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah, do yeah. that. And did you have a big wedding? Was it? Um, like... It was big-ish. It was fine. It was like 200 people. I think. That's huge. Well, you're nice. Did what? How big was your wedding? Me and my wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was snowing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you mean? So well, you, mean you, you were going to have this wedding, and then... Wait, 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 wait. This no. is about me again. This is not about me. I know, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. We, we had the opposite of snowing. It was in July in New York, and it was so hot. I mean, obviously, who plans a wedding in New York in July? No, I don't. Uh, do, do you. I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was very hot. Is your husband from New York? No, but we met in New York, oh. so... We're hopeless romantics. Oh. No, uh, anyway, we met in New York. Wait till you have kids. That'll disappear. <laughs> I know. Like the wind. Then it'll just be all I really want is sleep, you bastard. I That's know. all it'll be. <laughs> I'm bringing a little of myself to this. No, yeah. no, 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 well, that... no, no, really. I'm not getting any sleep at all. I uh, can't, but, well. I just fell asleep right there. See, when I, I was know. looking at you, I was like. How, how many hours? How many? <laughs> Disguising. Yes, I, I'm gonna have uh, my eyelid, my eyes <laughs> tattooed on my eyes. Yeah. How much sleep do you get a night? Would you? About 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and not all together. No. Uh. Oh no. You know when you? I haven't had a child, so I I, I don't pretend. I I hate it when I try to sympathize with someone who's had a child. I'm like I know about this. Like, no, no, you don't. You know it's fine. You should just make sure you enjoy your life now, <laughs> because when you have kids. <laughs> in my head, and I don't even want to say this out loud because now I hope it doesn't come true, especially now that I know there's a Well, this show isn't technically out loud, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I will say that I have this, I'm like, uh, I haven't really envisioned my life past age 40. Like, I just haven't. Mm. So, but I know that there could possibly be 60 years after that. So I have the... Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, go I'm going yeah, to yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, well, I should get an, an understanding of what will happen then, and what will happen is, like, a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless nights. A lot of uh, yeah, Well, I, I'm 50 now. 50? Wouldn't ever believe that. Oh, not, see, not, not 50 years old. <laughs> yeah. No, no, what I'm saying is you look fantastic at any age. <laughs> No, no, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Really, I appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm I falling asleep again. No, no, no. It, things do, do change as you get older. It's, you know, it's like I never envisaged myself making it past 28. Well, well but... Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't I think didn't... anyone who knew me at that point would have said, would have said yeah, 28 is about right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but no, it's a whole different thing. There's doctors and things. Yeah, no. I have, um, um, my grandpa is 92, and he um, often tells me about... <laughs> the olden days? Well, the olden days and, and his... His business. <laughs> well, when you get past 90, you can be as rude as you want, and everybody thinks I, it's cute, you know. And, and I think people, like, play that to oh, the Oh, sure, yeah. but if I make it to 90, I'll be like, my balls are hanging all over the place. People are like, oh! Grandpa, you're so cute. Like, do you want to see a photograph of my penis? Yeah. Here's my penis in Florida. Grandpa. He's so cute. He's a dog. Yeah. No, I know. But I do think some people play that up. And, so, and you apparently, I think, maybe... I, maybe I, I went too early. I, I've been doing it now. <laughs> How old are you? Well, 50, yeah. No, no, 50. you are 50, but I mean you're... Anyway, oh, yeah. too personal. I was going to... My, my penis? Kids. My penis is the same age as me. Ageless. Ageless. It's, no, no, it's it's certainly <laughs> feeling the... the <laughs> but, but... What the hell, man? Oh, God. Are you talking about penis? Yes! <laughs> It's health, health conscious. Yeah, right, exactly. Very yeah. good. Oh, we're out of time. Um, oh. <laughs> so, how was the show this year? Good? Oh, this show's great. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you want to have a piece oh. of Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I think we found out what this is called. What's it called again? Uh, what's it best? What's it called? Ma Mamie? Ma uh, are you, you're best? No, you're best. <laughs> this is uh, this is, uh, this is a lady coconut. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know how? You know, no, 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 no. What? Say it. I was gonna say you know how you can tell it's a lady coconut. And how? No, I'm not gonna say. Oh no. No, because well, you know some women still enjoy the show, and I don't want to piss them off any more than I already am. All right, so you got you want one of these? These are awesome. Okay, talk to me about this. Well, this is a program, and you can also use them to as a tool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like a pomegranate. 
Grammys. Well, there you are then. And also, um... Oh, yeah. you were shopping? What else do you want then? <laughs> Sorry if you've been through this. Which one? That's a reptile fruit. It's, uh, it's made of re reptile. I do not want that one. Oh, I'm a, do you want this one? Well, or is it the same? Is it just the same but a different? Yeah, like, it's the same but different. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll have that and an orange. All right. Then, or, now put them uh, both in one hand. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> the cat tap dance. Uh, I learned that uh, we went too long tonight and we're, the show is running approximately three minutes over. I'd like to apologize to the network. I'm really sorry. Uh, but it's just one of those things. One of those, what did we say again, Jeff? One of those crazy... Uh -oh. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> But if I do have some, <laughs> I don't like salsa. But if I ever, <laughs> don't know why that strikes me so funny. Uh, <laughs> if you're gonna have salsa, you may as well get spicy salsa. I suppose. This is from Calvin in Miss Arizona. Says, Dear Craig and Jeff, are you bringing your coconuts down for the Super Bowl? Let's see. Super Bowl ball. Yep, I'm packed. You, Jeff? You taking your coconuts down? No, oh, hell yeah. All right, then. Get us out of here. We'll do a commercial break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. It's called Wild Things with Dominic Monaghan. That's a clue to who he is. <laughs> it's airing Tuesday nights on BBC America. Take a look at this. I've decided. <laughs> yeah, it's very good work up to now. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it'll change, but they get a little more drunk as the evening goes on. That's how it goes. <laughs> hey, that looks fantastic. That's, it, it, that's a dangerous snake, though. Yeah, it's a dangerous snake. Well, don't do that. Well, <laughs> nowadays with nature shows, you kind of have to push it a little bit to that degree, otherwise people are like, ah, we've seen it. But you said, I heard you in that, you said this is one of the most dangerous and skittish cobras. Yeah, I'm thinking, well, get your 
yourself a less skittish cobra. <laughs> get yourself a cobra that's kind of like, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> like Sick Terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, yeah and the monocle cobra, I believe, kills more people in India than any other cobra. And uh, by nature, that type of cobra is a, is a little weird and very keen to bite. It's a monocle cobra, which means it has one, one eye on, on the back of the yeah, yeah, yeah. On the back of it. So it's kind of like a Nazi commandant, in yeah. a way. A little bit. And it's like, I see, I have some monocle cobra. <laughs> Be very careful of the three-eyed snake. Not quite as dangerous as the one-eyed trouser snake. <laughs> I'm sure I have no idea what you mean. The, uh, do you know what I noticed, though, and congratulations on this, that you, uh, you're British. True. And you're doing a show where you're not acting, you're just presenting. Yeah, yeah. And yet you're not doing that British presenter thing. Have you noticed what they what do? What's the British presenter? Well, every British presenter, every time I see a British show, they, they start the, they're talking like this, and then they still finish the sentence like this. <laughs> this is one of the most exciting cars I've ever driven in my entire life. It's on the air syndrome. Right, I start like this, and I'm all looking at me, and then... Hello. Sound great. Well, I tell you what, right? It's interesting because up until now in my career, I've established myself as an actor, and then sticking your neck out as a host, which you do for a living now. Well, I did it because I failed as an actor. Mm -hmm. Clearly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's quite a vulnerable feeling, huh? Because yeah. then you have to come to terms with the fact that if they don't like the show, it's maybe you. they don't like you. Yeah, it's you they don't like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when people don't like this show, they don't go. Mm, I'm not sure if the plot line is right, or if you know, it's like, or it's like, no, it's him. Yeah. Him, I hate. <laughs> You can't have that too much. You know, I, oh, oh, you'd be surprised. Very much enjoy what's going on with your hair. Tonight. You're interested in my hair. What's going on? A little pump going on. It's like a, like a tribute to the Cuban heel on top of your head. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going for a little bit. This is one of the more dangerous and skitty hairstyles <laughs> in the world. Don't get too close, Art. Mm. Oh, look. That's that's right. Right. It's fierce. Mm. <laughs> It's very sexy. You don't mind me saying. I don't mind yeah. you saying. A little bit like Morrissey. A little bit like Morrissey. Oh, I don't you think it's like Morrissey. Really? No, I'm not sensitive enough. If you keep growing it, you can get it up there. No, no. I could never have a pompadour like Morrissey. I don't have the talent for that. I like Morrissey. Are you a Smiths fan? Oh, man, I love the Smiths. You're sensitive then? Yeah, oh, well, of course. Yeah. I rejected the Smiths for a while because they're from Manchester, and I was like, oh, they're the biggest band from Manchester, and I'm, I'm more a Stone Roses, Oasis kind of grunty man thing. And then I was on a train one day going down to London, and I heard a song by the Smiths called Still Ill. Do you oh, know I know that song. Yeah, it's a very good song. It just killed me. And from then I know it's all about it. Yes, I'm like that with golf. <laughs> I've heard you getting into golf. Well, I, I, I rejected voice. golf. I rejected golf. Because you're punk. Because I was punk. Because I was Scottish. Golf is Scottish. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, no way, man. I'm, I'm in a band. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. 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 And then I turned 50 and they put a camera and in my bottom. And <laughs> When I woke up, I liked golf. <laughs> Good thing. I don't know what happened. That's amazing. Yeah, it's one of the, apparently it's one of the byproducts of colonoscopy that you, once you get your first colonoscopy, you're like, oh, I just go out and hit a few uh, holes Why and not? see what happens. You can still, you can approach it in a little bit more of a punk rock way though, right? I mean, you can. can I? Well, like, when you're on the uh, potting green, you can, you can do it like a pull Oh, shot. nice, yeah. That's it. Push are, you, are you a golf player? I've tried it, but I have absolutely no patience for anything, so golf requires patience. Well, that or age, and I think that's what it is. I think that I had no patience for it, and then I turned 50 and I was like, oh, where am I going? Now, is it, is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it just is it you? Oh, do you got friends? You well, I will only play golf with guys that let me play golf against myself. Now, anyone who plays golf knows what I'm talking about. Uh, you mean against your ability? I'm not talking about you. masturbating on a golf course. I wasn't talking about Thank God. I might be talking about that, but I was. I, I want to play against myself because I'm. I, I mean, I started when I was 50 years old. The, the guys have been playing it since they were nine years old. I can't play against yeah, them. No. They're not going to happen. Yeah. It's a freak sapling. Yeah. So I just go out and I get the ball around. And, and you, you have them for company and camaraderie. Right. And, and I, I watch them play golf properly while I occasionally have to go out and just pick mine up and walk the rest of the way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what, have you, you've parred a couple of holes in this. Yes, I have. Thank and you for asking me. Yes. Yes, I have. Yeah. You would know all the lingo. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was lucky enough, because I'm a Manchester United fan, lucky enough to be friends with a couple of the Manchester United players, and they are almost all scratch golfers. Well, that's just... Yeah, ridiculous. Ryan Giggs, I think, is a scratch golfer. Uh, what about uh, Sir Alex Ferguson? Is he a golfer? I think he's a pretty decent golfer. They, yeah, play, yeah. they play for a lot of money, and those guys are such fierce competitors. They were playing for money one day, and they came back, and the only players that were in a good mood were the ones that won, and all the losers were in a bad mood for the rest of the day, because they're all competitors. But you don't want your soccer team to be in a bad mood for the rest of the day. Absolutely. That'd be like having a monocled cobra in your trousers. I know. Yeah. It's a fun show, though. It's, it's what, the, the danger show? Do you go into dangerous spiders and stuff? We, I look for the world's largest spider. Hold on, hold on. We have to take a commercial break. Okay. We'll and coincidentally, if tonight it's, we are sponsored by the world's largest spider. Nice. <laughs> so we'll talk more about it when we come back. We'll be right back to Don that you forget we were talking and then you came back and I was like oh we hi which is weird because it's a talk show it's isn't a talk it? show and yet here we are concept talking is. slightly differently than we were before yeah yeah because we, when we were we weren't talking about the world's largest spider I know no, we were, well in a way we were in a way we were talking about a beast a crazy beast a crazy beast that yeah. lives inside you yeah true, true well let's talk about the world's largest spider okay then <coughs> where um, is it is it here? <laughs> no, no. All right. Then bring it with me. It's, it's in Laos, Southeast Asia. Right. We were lucky enough to be the only, the second Western company to actually go into this cave to find the spider. The first one was the National Geographic. Team. Right, right. And they live in these underground caves, two and a half kilometers into these caves. How big are they? They're about the size of a dinner plate, including legs. Yeah, you got a dinner plate? No, but I've got a, I've got a frisbee. It's about, about a frisbee size? I would say that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So body... And then, about, and then legs. What, it, what about here? This particular area, there. Right. And then the Maybe remaining... Maybe there's a spider on there. Yeah, less. I think that'd be awesome. And then the remaining yellow section. Right, good. Right, body. let's body. How many legs does a spider have? Ooh, four? No. Eight. Right. Each yeah. side, right. So here's there the... There you go. Right. It's quite a rudimentary spider, to be honest. Well, he, it's, he's scared because he, he's normally in his cave. Right, right. He's got internal. Everything else is right. internal. Eyes, yeah. He needs ten of those. <laughs> Welcome. Drawing with Craig. Oh, you're really quite gifted. Brilliant. All right. Pretty good. How many mouths? What? Only one mouth. Two mouth. No. <laughs> Forty. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. A little bit of venom on there. So venomous spider. Good. Great. <laughs> it just looks like he's been eating watermelon. Well, he's, he's that big. He could have a watermelon if he wants. Hairs, hairs. Sen sen right. Sensory hairs on its legs so that it can spot you coming. Is it, uh, did, did you hold this spider? Yeah, yeah, I held it. These guys are almost entirely blind. Their eyes are rudimentary. Well, they've got ten eyes. Ten of them, but they they're blind? Because they live in caves. They've been living in caves for so long. Well, get so, out! Get a bit of fresh air! Good point. But they, but they use those hairs to sense you, so they will be able to blindly, deftly sense you coming from, like, 20 meters away. Amazing spider. And I was taught to grab hold of them by the legs and peel the legs back so that they're venomous uh, fangs couldn't bite it, and I was annoyed by the fact that I had to hold him in such a cruel way, so I ended up just letting it walk around in my hand, and that's episode two, and it's an amazing moment in the show. You're doing a lot of drugs right now. <laughs> I'm getting a kind of, I'm getting a kind of peyote vibe. Am I, am I in the neighborhood? It gets you closer to nature. Yeah, it gets you dead, son. Yeah. That's what it is. I, I noticed that my reaction time is a lot uh, quicker than I thought it was going to be, because it has to be, because you need it to save your life, you know. So with some of these snakes and stuff, I was like, wow, I'm actually a lot more spry than I thought. Spry? <laughs> you don't get spry until you have your colonoscopy. <laughs> anyway, good luck with the show. Don't mind one everybody. Bye -bye.
Guest is a beautiful actress. She stars in The Office, which is Thursday nights on NBC. Take a look at that. <laughs> Ellie Kemper, everybody. but now they've changed their outfits and they look great. Done and done. Loving it all. Yeah, That's no, the perfect look, mood. You look great, too. I oh, like thank that. you. No, I thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, well. Get and your you, hair. Your legs went like that. There's a oh, bit. oh, no. Yeah, that's right. I know. We had to put up, yeah, makeup extra high. Well, because there's a big slit. You might not be able to see it. You have makeup on your legs? Yes. <laughs> really? Is that a thing? That girls put thing. makeup on their legs? Every morning, yes. The girls are like, before you go out, let's just finish my legs. I'm almost ready. Really? You can't see me and I don't have my legs on yet. Yeah, no. No. I, no, only for special, only for special occasions. Really? I didn't know the girls put makeup on their legs. I don't think everyone does, but I have Scottish roots as well, and I'm a little pale by nature. Oh, So I maybe, see. I, you know. Yeah. How Scottish are you? Well, no, yeah, only a tad. Well, I didn't know you could make up on your legs. <laughs> I don't is know. Is that a Scottish thing? Maybe that was something I know, like I this. just blamed all, like, all weird no. women putting makeup on their legs on your, like, No, no, it's fine. Heritage. It's all right. It's, <laughs> it's okay. I don't, uh, look, from what I saw when I was there, there wasn't a lot of leg makeup. Yeah. Oh, no. There probably weren't a lot of exposed legs, or maybe there were. No, I didn't see a woman with a coat off till I was 40. <laughs> No, no, it's not always a bad thing, actually. That's true. Do you find it erotic to see people with coats on? Is that a website? And women with coats on? Yeah, I um, bet it a is. A coat can be, like, your best friend. I mean, you know. No, it can't, like, rescue you. It can't rescue you. It can't, it can't hear your secrets. But it can keep you warm and look stylish if it's the right coat. Well, that's not your best friend. No. Oh, no. Is that what you look for in a friend? Can you keep me warm? Are I you stylish? I have to re-examine. I have to yeah. re-examine my best friend's You've qualifications. you too long. I know. I bet all I'm looking for in a best friend. Keep me warm. Stylishness and keeping you warm. Yep. <laughs> How long have you been in this town now? I've been in this town for like almost four years. That's too long. I, it's a little. How long have you been here now? Eighteen. What? Is, what is that? that mean, that's, no, that I, right? I've come full circle. So yeah. I, I went very early for a while, and then I've come full circle, and now I'm just kind of a hobo or something. Oh no, yeah. no you're not a hobo. No, 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 uh, a little bit. LA is a hard town to navigate, right? I mean, I don't know. It, N not only road-wise, but also just in terms of, I don't know, it's a different Politically, culture. you mean that... Very, politically, I've been trying to run for mayor. <laughs> mayor of LA? It is so hard to navigate. Yeah, no, it's very <laughs> difficult. What's your agenda, then? What's your plan for LA? What are you going to do? How about fixing the right. airport? How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I, yes. Airport, pop. Oh, gosh. Pop, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you got it right. Hey, it's Mayor Kemper, everybody. <laughs> Kemper is a hamper. Oh, that's good. Did you get that? You're school? hired. You're hired. Did you get that at school? Did people say you? Oh my gosh. Um, sorry, but I didn't. Well, by the way, I was gonna say potholes. So just so you know, oh, right. I don't smoke pot. I'm not like afraid. I'm not afraid to say it. I um <laughs> am a little high strung, right. and I think that if I smoked pot, I would. I don't know. I don't know what would happen. It, it would just. I, be I. This may surprise you. I have smoked some. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Recently, not in a long time. Sure. And, uh, no. 20, 20 years. Uh, and uh, oh, well, only because I smoked pot when I was drunk. Uh, oh, and you didn't. I stopped drinking. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Uh, right, the, right, right. But when I smoked it without alcohol, it made me panicky. Oh. It's like people all like, dude. I'm like, no, it didn't make me do that. I was like, oh, 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 world's biggest spider. Yeah. I feel like. I, that happens with me and um, like Crystal night <laughs> Crystal <Matt. laughs> No, and nighttime cough medicine. You know, it's supposed to calm you down. Nighttime cough medicine. <laughs> yeah. You're like right. if you're, you want to get rid of your cough and go to bed, but instead I get so high strong. Well, you know what that might be? There's alcohol in that mostly. Uh, uh, but you know what it might be is chamomile. Because sometimes chamomile, although it's meant to calm no. people down, yeah. in me it doesn't do that. Wait, a, a cup of chamomile tea to me is like a bump of coke. I'm like, oh yeah! Are you joking? No, not at all. That's insane! The world is a crazy place! We have spiders with ten eyes and they are insane! Wait, between, okay, so, again, again, presumably chamomile tea pot, two things that are supposed
supposed to like loosen yeah, you up and you're just me. wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Have you ever done yoga? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Get a little farty. <laughs> in an exercise class the other day and someone farted and it was a tight tight room and it was not God, you know dear, yeah yeah no that's bad and you know that all smell is particular in nature you, if you can smell something it's because there are molecules of whatever substance emits that odor in your nostril oh 100 percent agree no no i'm not looking at it's science you're like, water freezes at 32. I'm like, I agree. I yes. agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Thanks. <laughs> Take that, people who disagree. We don't believe that. We don't, no, 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 it's a fact. Yeah. No, it's a fact. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, this is maybe not Ghost? so safe. Yeah. That's all right. Poo dust. Poo dust? Poo dust is a thing. I remember reading about it. I, I it was some, like, etiquette woman oh. talked about it. And molecules of poo. Okay. I said, it's like gas. Anyway, so gross. Not even. Not really that. Well, gross, but fascinating. Yeah. It's science. It's just a fact of life, and sometimes science ain't pretty. I completely agree with you. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what? I don't know. I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how are you otherwise? Everyone all right? What's going on in your yeah, personal uh, life? Anything that you know? Uh, no, no, I've been married now. Oh, uh, isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. So almost six months. So that's great. Really great. Yeah. yeah. It's still, still, that's this is the honeymoon piece. I know. I know. So. Uh, in another six months, it will be terrible. No, but for now, no, it's great. No, no, no. Did you marry the right person? I did. Then it's going to be great. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely great, 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 great. Yeah. 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 If, if you've married the wrong person, it will become evident. <laughs> By the poo dust. No, there's no poo dust. You guys, I'm... Uh, why, okay. why are you obsessed with that? I, know, I, every time I, I got you out of there. I, got, I led you out of the poo so dust well. corner, and you there you are, so dragging us well. back I in. I know, I forget it. The marriage is going well. Um, what else is new? Nothing, nothing too much. Um, Sorry for saying poo dust corner. It sounded a bit like uh, the house of poo dust corner. So. <laughs> the greatest horror story ever told. <laughs> In a world where all smells are particular. <laughs> they bought a house. Look, honey, it's me. Did you smell something? Yeah, you bet they did. <laughs> I've like introduced this gross thing to you. Oh, that's all right. We can do it here for years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're out of time. Eh? Oh. All good. All good. All good. All right. Want a coconut? Yes. Uh, do you have a, Do you have anyone uh, uh, planned for winning the Super Bowl? Um, I don't. I'm not going to put my bets on anyone. Oh well, I don't know who's playing. Oh. <laughs> not your game. Not my game. No, that's all right. Okay. There's your coconut. Okay. Keep it for uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yeah. Just keep it. <laughs> well, you can open it then. Okay, so, okay. I would, well, I'm going to take it. So, yeah, I didn't know if I... Take it with you. You want to put some makeup on it or something? Yeah. All right. Okay, we're, 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 we're.